Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Chameleon Craft server. I'm out here at the moment in the swamp biome collecting some lily pads and vines for the project I'm going to do today. Um, Stealthy Meerkat is here with me, his house is just over there, he's got a portal right by the swamp biome. And I completely forgot that there was actually a witch hut out here, so I thought what I'd do to start off today's episode is uh, put a portal in the witch hut because not many people know it's there and it's a bit of an, an annoyance to get to. Um, so luckily I've got depth strider so I can get out of there quite quickly, but I'm going to get the coordinates to that um, and then put it into a nether portal calculator online and then I'll be able to get uh, the uh, portal and put it there. So yeah, I'll see you in a second when I've done that. Okay, so I've put the portal down. Um, I did it quite far away from the actual uh, witch hut itself because I didn't want it to interfere with anything if someone does decide to build a witch farm over here. Um, I was thinking that if someone would, um, I probably might, I'm not sure anyone could take it on if they want to, it's quite deep and if they really want to make it efficient, you know, they can try and get rid of all the water and do a dock end, but, um, yeah, have fun with that, it's just there if someone wants to build something there, really. Um, so this is where the portal goes, I'll show you, hopefully I don't die because it's in a really weird place, ooh, yeah, literally, look, I'll show you, just out here is, um, the uh, lake in the nether and this is a portal tunnel for uh, the roof forest that's it because I didn't want to use someone's actual home portal this is just for different biomes and I'll show you where it comes out also I dug down here just because I didn't know where this actually was so this is here in the nether hub so we've got the witch hut and the roof forest down there I was going to go down here but um, and then mine through there somewhere but this is uh, stealthies and then up here is craft files I believe I really like this tunnel it looks just like a um, nether fortress so yeah, that, if anyone wants to know, wants to, to, to know, it's just down there. Right, so, now on to today's main project on the server. What I wanted to do, if I can get down here without destroying any... Damn it, have I got a hoe? Yes, I do. Um, basically, what I want to do is make a cave in here. Not a cave, like a water kind of underground cavern. That's it, with vines going down. Only really an aesthetical thing. It won't have anything inside it. I just want to really, like put a load of water in here, have some vines coming down, make it look pretty cool. Maybe we could have water going around the side here. I'd probably cut it off here because this is literally a cave system and that's it. But that's all I really want to do today is just make this place look kind of quite cool. So um, I'm going to have to make some things to help me with this. And Oh, hello. Oh, I, I may need you. Wait, what do I have on my sword? Looting. Okay, because we haven't actually done the Ender Dragon fight yet and I'm going to upload this in a dodgy order, I think. So... Damn it. Because we need some ender pearls, and he's over there, he's over there. I need, to, I need to get the final hit with the sword. Damn it, come here. I don't look at you, don't teleport. Yes, come on. What, looting two and you drop nothing? Wow, oh, hello. Oh yeah, that's uh, Crack the Beat's little spy hole. He's a little cave in there. He's, he lived in there when he first joined the server. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to need to create some uh, machines to help me with this. And by machines, I mean a uh, mass smelter. Which I've I've built before actually. It's basically a load of furnaces, a minecart that will filter things in evenly, and so on. And also a vine farm because I've only got 32, and I'm gonna need quite a few vines for this. So I'll show you when I've built one, and then I'll show you when I build the other because I'm not gonna show you me building it because it's quite boring. So I'll see you in a second. Also, there is quite a problem with this thing. You still take damage when you fall down, even if you land on it. Because if you land on it like this. And you walk off it, you actually get fired out of it. Um, so I'm going to have to think of a better way of getting actually down into this space somehow. Okay, well, the vine farm isn't really anything special. I mean, as far as I'm aware, there's no actual way of automating these things unless you went AFK holding right click. But you literally just do that. And then don't do the ones at the top, so they'll always be growing. And then they fall into this, and then you pick them up. And that doesn't seem to be working. Does it not work if you have a pressure plate? That oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, that means I'm going to... Oh, God, what am I going to have to do now? Can I put a pressure plate on top of a chest? I can't. What can I do? Can I just... Hmm, okay, I'm just going to make some signs quickly, and then put it... Actually, no, I'll just go down here and carry on recording. Um, 
and talk to you about some things. We are, or who is doing it? I think it's Stealthy Meerkat is doing it. He is building a Iron Golem farm at Spawn. I have not. Unlucky dude. Um, <laughs> he's building an Iron Golem farm at Spawn, so I actually might go and have a look at that in a minute. Bef oh, come on, there we go. Uh, Make go have a look at that in a second when I am done building the two machines I want to do. So, so that should work like that. So let's put it. Oh, I don't know. Let's just see if it does collect it first. Do 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 do. It should do. I don't see why not. I mean, I really didn't know that change was made actually. Okay, that's good. That that will work. Cool. Um, okay, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is make the uh, furnace array because I'm going to need a lot of smooth stone and I don't want to waste my silk touch pick, which is actually in my ender chest. And all my tools are actually dying quite a bit. My swords are right. Yeah, I call it big booty bitches. I'm not sure why. So my bow's kind of dying. Both my picks are dying. I think I'm just going to do a big repair soon. Actually, I am building up a load of books, which I think I'll use um, as I show you them. I think I've showed you these already. Um, especially this one here, efficiency 5, uh, sharpness 3, so I'm building up loads of books so I can actually craft myself a weapon rather than doing a quick level 30 enchantment. So anyway, on with the next build. Oh my god. For you guys that was just a cut. For me that was about 45 minutes of just pure work in Minecraft. It doesn't sound like a lot, but I got a bit carried away. Um. I didn't know where to build it, I thought maybe there, maybe over, I'm trying not to show you over there, but then I thought, oh, let me utilise the other one of these, oh, you saw a bit, I'm breaking stuff like crazy, and I can't break, I can't fix that, there we go, so, I thought I'd build it, that made me jump, um, in this spare slot, so here it is, Yes, I got a bit carried away, and no, I didn't have this planned out at all. I literally just dug into here and built this. Um, I kind of knew how they work, so I just kind of built it. Um, this is pretty much my iron gone. I've only got 16 blocks left, um, and I haven't tested this either, so let's have a go. So, what you do is, I'll show you at first, you put your things to smelt in there, and then what it'll do is it'll spread it out uh, equally. I'm not sure if it'll do this last one, though, because you can see it kind of goes halfway. I may have to adjust that. Um... And then over here we've got the fuel, and then that goes around the ones in the back and puts the fuel in the bottom. And then when all the things are smelted, they'll come to the hoppers and go into the chests. So, the fuel, we're going to put in 32 uh, blocks of coal. Stacks of coal? 32 blocks of coal. And then we're going to put in some cobblestone in here because we want some smooth stone. We're going to send the fuel off first. Okay, so this should have two in. Okay, now four, yep, and then six. Oh, it's empty. Whoops. Okay, so we might as well just put all of it in and get it running. Um, this is all free, and now if I do this one, they should all light up in sync. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. So what you can do is just leave this running, um, and whoa, do you see that? That was a bit of lag then. That cart kind of jumped across the screen. So you can just leave this running for ages. Um, of course, if we had a blaze farm, I'd use blaze um, for fuel, blaze rods, because that's way more efficient. Um, and also, you can have little stations for these to stop at, and then for hoppers to fuel, put more fuel in. But seeing as we only have coal at the moment, this seems to be the only real option. But this thing is working like, oh, whoa, whoa, look at that. That's freaking awesome. So I can just keep this thing running for ages, and it'll just give me tons of smooth stone. So let's see how empty this is. Whoa, so it's actually clearing out quite a bit. So if I leave that running, that should really give us a load of smooth stone. And of course, we can use that for iron and stuff, but it really wouldn't be efficient for iron because uh, cause you, can only, you, know, you really need one furnace for that. Uh, the vines have grown a bit. Not too much, though. They do grow really slowly. I don't know if they're affected by light level or not. Um, I suppose we could always experiment with that by putting loads of lights around it, maybe some redstone lamps. But looking at this base now, it is actually kind of taking shape slightly. It was a bit empty, and now we've got loads of things dotted around the place. And all we need now, I'll do in probably a future episode, is just have loads of paths connecting it all. Um, and stuff like that. So, this now means I can finally get on with building this cave in here. I don't know what I'm going to call it. The water cave. The, the cave of doom. The aesthetical cave of beauty. That sounded really weird. Anyway, so. 
I will see you when I have made a start. I'll probably do some progress updates. So that'll probably be better. But I'll uh, I'll catch you when I catch you, I suppose. That sounded really creepy. I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> okay, so I am pretty much done. Uh, Andrew has come over to my base for a sneaky little vid visit. And I'll show you what I've been doing. I'll just go over here. And I'm pretty proud of it. I didn't think it would look as cool as this, but it's looking quite cool now, like this, and I haven't actually finished it. So, basically what I've been doing is using three block types. I've been using the andesite, the stone bricks, and the mossy snow bricks, which I just found out you can craft by doing this, like that, which is really awesome. Uh, what I want to do is actually make it darker, so what I'm going to do is take some cobblestone fences and then place some redstone torches on them, because that will, should make it look a lot darker than it actually is in here and mobs won't spawn in here because um, there's a water they might spawn on these blocks around here but they shouldn't uh, Andrew's coming in to have a look but I'll show you what I've been doing um, with the whole so if I can get this yes with the whole placing blocks so what I do is let me just place this down a bit more light oh wait 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 this is tempting what where is he? Oh, no, 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 no. I know what he means. He's going to break the block. <laughs> oh, God, no. I know. Th I, I did block this off because um, I didn't know what to do down here. But I'll show you what I've been doing. So let's find a good space. Uh, this here is quite good. I've got three block types. So what I'll do is remove three. So one, two, three. And then just go one, two, three. And then probably get a vine as well and place it on one of them. Like so. The vines haven't grown yet, so it doesn't actually look very good. Um, so I don't really know what else to add. I don't know why I've done this. Whoops, done this area. Um, it I, I won't have actually use this as a proper um, you know thing that I will use. I don't really know what to say. I won't ever use it. It's just aesthetic. However, I think this could be the start of something because this looks pretty cool. I didn't realize how cool this thing would look. Actually, let's get rid of this torch as well. We want to get rid of as much light as possible in here. Otherwise, it will start looking less creepy. I want it to look really creepy. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? That looks really cool. Now, what could I do? Just kind of quickly think of my feet here with half slabs. Do you think I could do anything with this? I don't think I could. Maybe if I get some... You know, I think this is pretty much done. I mean, all I've got to do is now is just do this one. Oh, actually, that looks quite nice. Yeah, the torch is hidden behind the, uh, the vines like that. So, one, two, three... Get rid of them off my hot bar. Bring on those. Go okay, one, two, three. I don't really care for coal much at the moment. Um, coal is not really a necessity. I suppose I could block this off. I might keep this open for the time being. Uh, just in case I want to expand it. So one, two, three. Put a vine on there. I do have to remember as well the vines will grow eventually. And will go all the way down to uh, the floor. Which will look good there. It should look good there. You know... This actually looks quite nice. I'm actually surprised. I'm going to try and take a really fancy screenshot. So I'm going to go from here maybe. This will probably be the thumbnail. And um, let's go like that. That looks kind of good. Actually, let's get rid of that torch over there. We're being more artsy fartsy at the moment. So let's try and get rid of this. Like so. Ooh, lighting glitch. Like that. Uh, get rid of this one as well. Uh, put some redstone torches around. I want as little light as possible, but only use redstone torches, so like that. That'll work quite well, actually. It'll make it glow quite well. I keep saying well. I've got to stop saying that. Ooh, that's sneaky. I like that. So let's try, like... Ooh, I've got to try and get a good angle. That there looks good. Print screen that. That's awesome. So I did say I'll go and have a look at spawn and see what uh, Stealthy Meerkat is doing. I think I've slightly overrun on episode time. I do try and stay under 20 minutes, but I may have gone over that. Um, so let's go over to spawn and see what he's been up to. So I'm here at the spawn, and there is the Iron Golem farm. Um, you can see on the map, it is just there. It is very, very, very close to someone's base, I think. I'm not sure if that's a base or not. I'm going to go over and have a quick look. And someone is firing arrows at me. I think Andrew's invisible. I think it's just a glitch though. So let's go over to him. Have a look. 
I think I'll probably build a path over here as well because it's something pretty cool. I've never actually seen this before. It's actually very small. Because I know you can get absolutely huge ones and then you can get tiny ones, but this obviously looks like a very small compact one. Let's see if it's uh, it's working. It's not working at the moment. I kind of want to get up there and have a quick look. Uh, I'll pull her up. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why I'm counting. I don't need to count. Hey, 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 look at this. This is pretty cool. Ooh, fancy. So I'm guessing he hasn't got all the villages in yet. So one, two, three, four. He needs two in each one. So that's actually going to be quite difficult. Luckily, we have a, a iron golem farm already. No, we have a villager farm, which is always good. So Stealthy has been very busy while I've been building the uh, little cave. And this looks awesome. So anyway, that's a good way to end off the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe so you never miss an episode. And I will see you next time.